Hey guys, well, we are well into December, so most parts of the country we're probably not thinking too much about open water fishing. In fact, I guess now is the time of year to think about what are we going to start throwing next year. And myself, I like to go through some of the catalogs, look at various lures, maybe come up with some of my own ideas, or find one I like and see if I can replicate it. Today that's what we're going to do. I happen to see one in a catalog by the name of Haymaker. So let's go with the workbench, give that one a try. Alright, here we go guys. Now, today we're going to do this a little bit different in that I got a head start. I put the base coat on yesterday. And I needed to put the base coat on because it's a little bit different than normal. My base coat is Rust-Oleum Metallic Finish. Nice, bright, chrome. It's like all this back in the 60s when we couldn't afford chrome rims, we just sprayed them with this stuff, right? All right. <laughs> I swear we did that. All right. We want a little chrome in the middle is what I want. I don't want a lot, but I want a little. So we have that. Now we're going to cover that base coat some. We're going to go Createx Opaque White, just like we would any other time. And we're going to go up a little ways on the belly. I want to leave that chrome. All right. You just got to decide how far up you want to go, how much chrome you want to leave, because we need to also put it on the top. A little around the face. And see, all I want is just a little bit. There we go. Just leaving myself a little in there, putting my white all the way around it. And it can vary how much chrome you want to do. And this style of lure, what we're doing here, because of all the colors we're going to use and everything, you might end up using a wider lure like this, where if you had like a little 1.5 that's pretty skinny, might not work quite as well. Hang on, I'm not quite done yet here. There we go, a little bit more on top. All right, now I'm happy with it. It's probably not going to be the same on one side as the other, but that doesn't care. The fish only sees one side. All right, let me clean this up. We'll start on those colors. All right, now we're going to come back for the belly. Now we're going to come back Createx Pearlized White. I like the pearlized, so we're going to put pearlized on the belly. And yes, I know we're white and white, but I'll tell you what. Pearlized will never color cover as well as opaque. Try to put that pearlized on without putting the opaque underneath it. Ain't going to cut it. Just won't work. All right, so we got the pearlized. Let's put a little pearlized on the belly. We can cover everything we did before. It won't matter because, uh, look at that here. I'll show you. Just an idea. Right over the side. Doesn't really do a whole lot. Might dull it just a little bit. It might have dulled the shine a little on that side compared to that side. But as you can see, the, the pearlized is not going to cover. You've got to have that opaque to cover. All right, let me clean this out. We'll move on. Next in line for our colors. Createx Transparent Orange. You could use opaque orange, whatever you want. I happen to have transparent. I don't even know if I have opaque orange around, to be honest with you. I'm usually using transparent. We're going to go from the bill to the hook set as usual. It might let it go back a little more. I don't know. I just want that little bit of orange on the belly. I want to leave that white up there like I usually have. That's going to be enough. That's it for that. Clean out, move on again. All right, we've got our white and our orange on the belly. Now, I need to come around here on the top. Do a little bit on the top. We're going to go back Createx Opaque Yellow. So I'm going to go with the opaque instead of the transparent. I want to cover all the white, and if I get a little down on that chrome on the side, it really doesn't matter. There, that's all I want on that. All right, got that. Now, still got one more, well, two more things to do, but one more color. Clean up, we'll go to that. Okay, our next color. Going to move on. Walmart. Gonna to switch to Walmart paint, which means we're gonna have to thin it. 
and this is burnt umber walmart burnt umber well we get a lot of the flakes out don't we there we go get more let me get rid of all that stuff there we go get all those flakes out of there so they don't end up burnt umber or if you're a country boy like me it's mud brown brown some sort of a brown i don't know now you can see i put a little water with it you're gonna have to thin it down there's plenty of things you can buy to thin it i just use water i've gotten by with that seems to work the key is getting the getting it thin enough for to, to shoot but you don't want it too thin either especially in this situation i think we're going to try i think we're going to make it here we'll see let me spray some out here and see what it looks like and we'll know if this is going to work or if i made it too thin and how do i know i'm just going to spray some and see what i think i think that might do it tell you what we're going to do though before i spray that I'm going to dry this good. I'm going to take the heat gun. I'm going to dry this good because I really need to cover this. Let me get it good and dry and we'll go from there. All right. Now, full transparency, I chickened out. I thought it was going to be a little too thin. I mixed up a little bit more, made it a little bit thicker. We'll see if it shoots through the gun all right. All right, we're shooting. One right down the back. I'm not going to get, I just wanted that darkness. I don't want it to go, I can see a little of the yellow through, and that's fine by me. I'm, I'm going to let that go. I wanted it a little dark here, because I'm also going to darken up the face. So I want the, the side profile to get a little of the dark, but I really don't want it to be real overpowering in this one. Why? Just because I don't want to. I don't know. All right, let's get a little more on that face. A little more on the face and that side. If you notice, I'm shooting to the front, so I tried to keep some off that. I splattered a little bit there. That's my fault. I did that one. All right. I'm seeing more yellow here. Let's get a little bit more on this side. There we go. Covers that. Because I want, I want to see the yellow, but I don't want to see a lot. Before, I was seeing a lot more than I am now. But you can see that's not real dark on top, just enough. That's, I kind of like that. Well, I wish I wouldn't have that little blowback right there, but that's eh, part of the deal. Sometimes you get it. All right. Set of eyes and a top coat. All right. Hang on. Before we go anywhere, I almost forgot this is supposed to be a shad pattern. So we need to do one more thing. Q-tip. Opaque. Createx opaque black. We're just going to take and throw a dab of black there. And we're just going to take a Q-tip and kind of roll it around, get it to a point a little bit. And we'll come back in and just give it a plop right there on the side. Come around the other side. Plop it right there. Yeah. And there we go. All right. Now we're getting close where we can go ahead and let's see about some eyes in a top coat. All right, let's get started with our top coat. I went ahead, put in red eyes. For the top coat, I'm gonna use Bob Smith Industries 30 Minute Slow Cure Two-Part Epoxy. And as you can see, I have put these in a bath of warm water. And the main reason is this room that I use is not real warm this time of year and the Bob Smiths loves 70 degrees or better so I find this time of year I like to put them in hot water warm them up and uh, it takes a lot longer for it to cure that way or at least it gives me plenty of time to get it on the on the lure and I've even taken these and just beforehand I just took the heat gun and kind of went over these to the heat gun a little bit just to uh, warm them up, make sure they're warmed up. 
It always tells you you got 30 minutes, but uh, it never seems like it really lasts that long. If you haven't seen me use this before, basically we're just going to hang these up when we're done. And uh, the epoxy will just even itself out. If you have a turner, you know, a lot of guys are pretty fancy about this. I've got the, the turners and everything. They'll put these on and it'll uh, turn your lures as you go to even them up. In my case, we're just going to hang it upside down. Let everything run to the tail end and that'll take care of it. No brush strokes or anything. And usually I'm using, like today, just Walmart cheap paint brushes. Buy 20 or 30 of them for a dollar or two. And that's all you need because, as I said, it'll even itself out as it dries. I kind of like this color. I really do. I think it's going to work out good. Guess I should make sure I'm holding this in front of the camera, right? And I always remember to put it where I can see it, but I got to remember I got to put it where you can see it. There we go. Now, the main thing is, as you're doing this, you get her on, look it all over good. Give it a good look over when you're done. Make sure you didn't miss any spots, because if you did, now is the time to correct that. So really good light so you can see well. A little bit right there. That looks good. The top all the way around. Looking good. I think we got it all covered. Now, let me see. Do I got something here? Sometimes I don't know if I even have any around. Yeah, I got one right here if I can get to it. A lot of times I'll take a wire hook like this, just hook that up. Now when I hang them, everything that runs down is going to run onto the wire hook. And I, a lot of times I'm going to let this sit for about 20-30 minutes. Most of it will have run by that time. At that point in time, I'm, I'll pull my wire out. Pull the wire out and I may even clean it up just a little bit on that with the toothpick. Then let it sit. You're still going to end up a little more. But that you can clean up when it all gets hard later. All right, we'll hang it up. We'll see what we got when we're all said and done. Well, there we go, guys. There is my version of the Haymaker. You know, when I'm seeing these in the catalog and I'm painting one, I'm not saying we're going to get it exactly the same as you see it in the catalog. Sometimes you have a hard time deciding what that color is or what colors you have that will go with it. But either way, I got the feeling that's going to be one little catch of fish. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. Subscribe to the channel if you would. Hope to see you again real soon.